from Panda Creates Tutorials. Um, this is part two of the Mini Makers series. Today we're going to be doing a peekaboo canvas um, and I will let Logan introduce himself. Hi, I'm Logan. I'm 10 years old and today we're going to be doing peekaboo art and my favourite thing to do is cheer. So let's get started. Okay, so there we go. Okay. So what you guys are going to need is you guys are going to need um, fluoro oh. acrylic acrylic paint, and you're going to need your Piku Boo art, uh, and it can be cardboard, hard cardboard or vinyl, and you're going to need your canvas, your paints. Yeah, and you're going to need paints and your paper. And paintbrush and you're also going to need a cup of water to to get rid of the paint so let's get started with it okay. so I'm just gonna do the first bit just so it's centered um, but you want to get your design we are using removable vinyl today but you can use thick cardstock you just need to cut out whatever design you'd like to be the peekaboo of the um, art Move this. Can you hold that, please? Yes, very well. There's always something in alive, isn't there? Yep. Yes, buddy. There we go. What's up? Oh, you say hello to him. Hello. He's just realised he's got two me. people watching him. I think I cut too deep, guys. That's why this is happening. It doesn't want to come off the backing paper. There we go. Yay. That was so much work than it should have been. Okay, so canvas. you want to place your design on your canvas. I'm going to make sure this is nice and as centered as I can make it with the naked eye. You want to make sure that it sits nice and flat. That's why I use vinyl, because it sticks and it can't lift. But um, as Logan explained, you can use thick cardstock. Um, you just want to stick it on uh, with some glue dots so that you can take it off again uh, now it's going to stick to the transfer tape that it didn't want to stick to to begin with everything's going wrong <laughs> it's alive hello and thank you for joining how badly do you want this circle around your fox um, <laughs> why? Because you may end up with just the fox. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe, yeah, maybe just the fox. <laughs> oh, no. it's alright, fix it. We can fix it up, don't stress. How do you fix right, It's because it's removable vinyl, not permanent. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's on there. That's my part done. Take it away. Okay. So, and and now what you're gonna do is you're go and but and now what we're gonna do is we're going to paint and you can paint it however you want. Just be creative. Let's get started. Liv says hello. Hello, Liv. So I'm gonna be doing stripes. You guys can do it however you want. over your design as well yeah well, and you guys and guys you also want to paint over your design to help with the peekaboo effect
気持ちが。And I'm going to be moving on to the next color now. You guys can do it for as long as you want. Super pink. And I'm going to do orange. We've got five people watching now, say hello. Hello. Make sure you dry it out really, really well. You don't want too much water on your brush. So next color? Next color. So you want to make sure you go right to the edges and you fill in all the gaps that are on the top of the canvas. It doesn't matter about the sides, you can fix the sides later. No, no, you still got more red to do, look. You gotta do around the edge, and then there's a big gap here that you gotta fill in as well. Ah. It's gonna look weird otherwise. And tell them they need full coverage. We need full coverage. You can go over the orange a little bit, it's not going to matter. Just want to make sure there's no white. That's it. So then your last colour. Margaret says you're doing an amazing job, Logan. Thank you, Margaret. And to next colour.
And now for the next step, Panda is going to hit it with a heat gun. Let's see, because it's alive, usually you want to leave it to dry, but because we're live, I'm just going to quickly hit it with a heat gun to speed up the process a little bit. Very, do you want to do this bit or do you want me to do it? Okay. So once you've painted your canvas and it's dry, you want to get to the peekaboo part. So you want to weed up the vinyl or the cardstock that you put down at the beginning. We're now going to remove. So there's one bit. There's another bit. Was that it? Was it only two bits? Yep. There we go. Okay, now you want to show it up and show everybody what you've made? Yep. And this is what I've done. I've done a fox for my peekaboo art. Yep. And, and this is peekaboo art for your room. And Panda would also like to talk to you guys, so I guess... And I hope you guys had fun. I'm going to hand you guys to Panda. Say thank you. Thank you. I'll swap spots with you. Alright guys, so that was Logan's peekaboo canvas art for his bedroom. I'm going to put that this way so that you can admire his artwork. You can do any designs and any colours you like. Um... Usually I would use permanent vinyl. I'm running a little bit low on white at the moment because I'm waiting for a delivery. That's why we used removable today and had the problems we did. But I just wanted to jump in and say, right, this is a really, really fun project for kids. Doing it this way where you have the white showing up from underneath, I would definitely recommend that method for younger children, right? If you have older kids, say from maybe 12 years and over, who are a little bit more creative, um, and a little bit better with like long-term multiple step crafting projects you can do it this way okay now you can see this one's very very old I did this a couple of years ago for a tutorial and you can see it's starting to crack but what you would do is you would paint your canvas with your different colors first once that was dry you'd put down your removable vinyl then you'd paint a solid color over the top and then you'd lift your vinyl up so that you had the two-toned peekaboo but the other way around so this way you put the vinyl straight onto the canvas so you have the white peekaboo and you let the kids paint over it to get an effect like this you paint the canvas first and then you follow the same processes so there are two different ways to go about doing this depending on the age bracket but we were focusing on the younger community today which is why we did it this way but that is all that we have for you today guys um i'm still trying to talk my eldest into doing a tutorial next weekend he's not overly confident um so it may be him i'm hoping fingers crossed um but otherwise if it's not him it will probably be serenity again but we will be back next weekend with part three hope you all enjoy your weekend and we will see you next time bye guys bye